I got a dad and an older brother who I know get up and go to work, and sometimes they don't feel great, and they go and they, they go and they grind, you know. And then I got two little boys that they're playing football now, you know, and they get hit and they get banged up, and trying to teach them what toughness means, you know. And so for me, it's it's those things that, um, and just knowing the window for me right now, um, and and understanding uh, that. I don't want to miss snaps. I don't want to be out, you know, without my guys, so. I think you play because you have a commitment to the men that play next to you, that bleed with you during the week, that sweat with you during the week, that you're going to do everything you can to be out there on Sunday to help them to the best of your ability to win the game because everybody's counting on each other. You know, when I, uh, when I saw Josh, um, his post game, Kind of his comments, it um, it just you know kind of reiterated in my head what kind of guy he is and you know how um, how awesome it is to have guys like that on your team and playing hard for those guys. And, you know we we try to do everything we can to keep him upright and then, you know unfortunately injuries happen. Uh, me personally, I really love the game and I I, I play it for free really. And I feel like Josh is the same way. Um, and, uh, he's just a uh, he's just a guy you would want to play with. Uh, every game. Just being around him, you get that, that sense of him, how, how tough he is, how much it means to him. And you can't play in this league that long without that mentality. You know, it's a tough sport, um, and the guys like that are the ones who last. So, you know, as a, as a teammate, it makes you feel incredible that the guy next to you cares about it as much as you do. Having guys like that on your team, it's I think it's really important because, um, you know, they're, they're willing to do everything. They're willing to put it all on the line for, for you. Um, the guys in front of him and you know guys playing around you it's just special because that's the kind of uh, commitment and the kind of the teammates we need to uh, get this thing going in the right direction and start getting wins um, it's never going to be a question of how much he's putting into it how much he cares if he's if his job is important to him you know because you know that you know that in the way he carries himself you know that in the way he works you know that in the way he prepares and you know that in the way he fights on Sundays and you know like I said as a teammate you know what, what more can you ask for there's, there's another 45 guys on the sideline that's feeling kind of the same pain that you are feeling, uh, especially guys up front who get twisted and turned every play, uh, but still find a way to hop up to their feet and uh, get to the next down. Really, it just takes a lot of like, self-motivation, really. Uh, it's a lot of self-motivation. Uh, you got to deal with that uh, every night. You know, you got to come in early for treatment. You got to do way more things that you usually do uh, when you're dealing with with something like that so uh, it's just all about you know being a dog and you know stepping up for your team. I think there's a mindset that uh, was instilled in me from when I was a kid that uh, you do your job and there's not even a consideration to should I get up it's not even in your mentality it's not something that goes through your brain you just think about getting up and playing the next play.